I hope that this video finds you and your families healthy, sane, and doing really, really well. I don't know about you, but I have to say that in these past couple of days, I'm actually starting to feel excited, a little bit of excitement about our tomorrow and about the future. I feel like, I guess the best word for it would be, I see hope and I feel hope and hope is such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it keeps us going during really hard times and, and it does bring excitement and, and faith that things will change. And that is how I've been feeling lately. So I wanted to get on and just quickly share with you that, that joy that comes with feeling hope because this is not it. And things are starting to turn around. And even though there's so much garbage going on on Facebook and on the internet and through the news outlets, we need to keep our minds focused on the true north, where we're headed and do our job and our part to be able to make it, you know what, where we come back even stronger than ever. I believe that we can. You know what, in my life out of the hardest devastations, that's when God refined me the most and taught me the most difficult lessons that I needed to learn in order to do better in the future. And God only knows throughout this, he's been again, once again, teaching me how to put my faith in him to a totally different degree. And that is gonna help me come out of this so much stronger. That is gonna help me come out of this so much better than I was before. And I pray the same for you. And I wanted today to quickly share a verse with you that just has been so true to the way I've been feeling and what I've been doing during this entire time. And I want to give it to you because it says in Romans 12, 12, it says rejoice in hope, which is right now exactly how I'm feeling. I'm just rejoicing in the hope that I have that this is going to change. This is going to end. This is going to come back to normal and we're going to come back stronger than ever, better than ever. So rejoice in hope, be patient, in tribulation boy have we had to learn how to do that huh a lot of patients being stuck at home not being able to go do anything not being able to spend the time with our loved ones that we would love not having a normal not having our jobs not having so many things it's taken so much patience and i know that the lord has been working specifically in my life dealing with my patients and that's going to get me out of this stronger as well and the last thing that it says in romans 12 is be constant in prayer and I will share with you that I have been praying more during this time at home than I have been in a long time. Um, there's been so many things to pray for and just to hand to God. I, when I pray, I mean, I pray throughout the whole day. I don't just sit down and heavenly father. I, I, I'm talking and communicating with God all day. And boy, have I been communicating with him about a, a people's health and people's finances and, and people's anxiety and emotions and sanity and so many different things and and for our leaders in the country for our country for our nation for the world so being constant in prayer so listen to this romans 12 12 again what wonderful advice for this very time this very time that we're going through right now it says rejoice in hope be patient in tribulation and be constant in prayer so i give that over to you because it has been working really, really well for me. I'm learning how to do it better, how to be exercising those three things continuously. And I will tell you, I will come out of this stronger and my, that is my prayer for you today as well. I miss you all very, very much. And I pray that the Lord will give you the hope that you need today. And I, and I just want to say this to end. The one thing that I never lose hope in is the Lord. I may lose hope in our leaders sometimes, even in our families, in our, in, in our circumstances, in so many things, but never lose your hope in the Lord because he is always there. He loves you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Even though it may feel like it, he is always there. So Romans 12, 12 for you today, be rejoicing in hope, be very patient during tri tribulations and be totally constant in prayer. That is my prayer for you today. May the Lord bless you 
and keep you and may he shine his light upon you today as you go about your day. God bless and we'll see you soon.